Okay, so we have the we have the the, the framework built to leverage an access package to control external sharing to our site. But now we have to invite people to it. And so the second script that we're going to do is we're going to invite a, a business partner to get access to that. So okay. we'll run a different script here. And because I have cash credentials, I'll only be prompted a few times to get in here. I'm getting prompted one more time, not entering creds, just clicking yes, because I have access to multiple different tenants. Okay. So in this case here, we have multiple different catalogs. Well, the catalog that our access package was in is catalog four, external drive, external sharing. So we're going to press four. Now, you'll notice here that this is the, the access package that we just created with our script. Again, right. the access package grants visitor access to the site and then puts you in a security group that is securing a particular folder. So enter the number of access package you would wish to assign. We're going to say number one. Enter the email address of the guest account, also known as B2B account, same thing, to be assigned. The guest account will be automatically created if needed. Okay. I like so that. I'm going to go ahead and create or invite my corporate Microsoft account. Down, I fat figured it. Pardon me. Take two. As you can see, I put in the script that it should you fat finger a a uh, an email address, we we will bail out and saying I can't do that. Okay, we're going to assign packages here. Enter the email address. I'll see if I can type my email address properly right now. Typing is hard. <laughs> well, it's also hard when you're showing your screen, right? I always feel exactly, like exactly exactly when I'm showing okay. my screen. Yep. So right. right now in my tenant, I do not have a guest account for my Microsoft corporate account. So okay. we're going to go ahead and create it. Do you want to create a guest account and send a guest account invite to djorby at microsoft.com? Yep, I do. What's the first name of the account? Now you're probably going, now wait a minute. Why do we want to ask more information? Well, when we get done with this process, we want as much information on that guest account as we can uh, as we can have, so we, it looks good in the portal, and we can find the appropriate person. So the first name is Dan, the last name is Jornby, the company name I'll just say Lab, and the job title I would say Arc. Here again, we see the sleep, right? So we created the account, but again, we need to give Azure a little bit time to, to, uh, to catch up. Right, right. Yeah. Okay, so we, at this point, all we did is we just created the, the B2B account. Now, do you want to assign DJarby to an access package and then bypass approvals? Now, it's probably beyond what we'll talk about today, but if you think about it, why would we do an invite and then require an approval at this stage? So that's why we put this in here. So press Y to assign an access package. Now, remember policies. This goes back to the deprovisioning. So how long would you like Dan to have access here? Remember when we created the script, we created, we put in 15. I'll just say two. Now, the reason that you'll see this one as well is the customer wanted and always wanted an option for permanent assignment. And so okay. the script that we ran earlier just automatically creates that. But in this case, it's going to be two. Would you like to send an external email to, to, to djormy at microsoft.com? 
The customer wanted this feature because they wanted a little bit more personalized email to go out rather than the native Azure AD B2B invite that we'll show here in a minute. You can see that in, we stored the, the, the uh, attachment to the email up in SharePoint. So we're checking SharePoint because the custom email that we send out actually has an attachment with instructions of how the person can access the package. So enter the email address for the user that will be on the from line. And I'm just going to go ahead and put in my account. And then I'm going to sign in. So the attachment, again, is an attachment that's going for the custom email that we are sending out. And then that's it. So, as you can see, a lot of steps that now is prompted in a fashion that really anyone, you know, should be able to go through if they have a basic understanding of, of what this looks like. So, let me show you what the customer received. So, first thing is this is the invite that Azure sent out. Okay. You're probably very familiar with this. This is the standard invite that allows my Microsoft account to become a B2B account in my test tenant. So if we take a look at what that looks like, and we'll go ahead and filter. You'll see here that this is the account that we, we was just created. Okay. And you'll notice that when we send it, it's already invited. And if we take a look further, you'll see I have my first name and my last name. That's important because I also have in my account here, my personal Hotmail account. So nice. by adding and prompting for additional information, we can keep, you know, Sally Smith, which is probably a little more common name, uh, sure. but, you know, than other separate so we'll know who which sally is which sally got it okay when we take a look at the identity governance section of it we'll see now we're coming back into our access packages we're coming into our hospital one and we now have an assignment you can and see we're still delivering. delivering yeah and dan has access for 15 days very cool I like the fact that you automated so much of this and you also gave anybody who's running it that's not super comfortable with PowerShell an idea of what's happening throughout the process. So yeah. that's really cool and invaluable, right? So I do feel like the folks watching this, take a look at the show notes because you're gonna wanna take a look at that code. It's some, it's pretty It's pretty good, I think. The, the fact that, I know we joke that we're not developers, but we also understand the problems that the IT operations folks have to go into or have to deal with. So, you know, that gives us an interesting perspective. And I feel like that's what probably made this so successful for your customer. Yeah, I will yeah. say this, a PowerShell wizard, mic drop, working out. Great job <laughs> done. I mean, it's, it's amazing. <laughs> Yeah. So coming back full circle on this, if we take a look here. So again, uh, here's our SharePoint site. We have one site. People get visitor access at the site level. This here, visitors no control is at the folder level, right? So okay. You have to get into the site, and then you'll see nothing unless you're part of a particular security group and then you have access to the folders of which the security groups, right? There would be a share code group into that. So that allows you to have a singular external sharing site with multiple customers uh, below. That.